I'm gonna try to get on Delirium. I don't think I'm gonna fit. There's a test seat out front. I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. I am five foot nine, and earlier this week I weighed in at 349 pounds. If you'd like to see how you compare, compared to me, just take a look at this guy right here. A quick rundown on Delirium. It is a Hus Park Attractions brand ride. It's a giant frisbee model. I mean, if you think about it, that's kind of what it looks like. I didn't know that was a model style until right now. Um, it is a 137 foot maximum height. It goes at maximum speeds of 76 miles an hour. And the ride lasts for two minutes and 30 seconds. And it was open in 2003. They're pretty close. Close, is it? That's three, not close enough. Three, four inches, yeah. Yeah. Delirium. My brother uh, was with me, and he gave it a try. He is just a shade under 300 pounds. I think he said 285 on that day. And he had absolutely no problems whatsoever. He had room to spare. Um, I have ridden Delirium before, but it's been at least 10 years ago and I was right about 300 pounds at that time. I don't remember having any problems with it then. So I'm gonna say you're probably gonna wanna shoot for the 325 pound mark cap tops to get on this ride. And that's all gonna depend on where you hold your weight. Uh, everybody holds theirs different. I hold the most of mine in my gut and my love handle area, but everybody's built different. So um, if you're around the 325 pound mark or less, there's a test seat up front, so give it a try, you might fit, but I think that's probably gonna be the cap. All right, we're gonna give Banshee a try. And just a quick rundown on Banshee. It is a B&M inverted coaster. It was opened in 2013 and was the world's longest inverted roller coaster at the time. I'm not sure if it still is. Maybe it is, I don't know. It has a max drop of 150. It has a length of 4,124 feet, a max speed of 68 miles an hour, a duration of two minutes and 40 seconds, and it has seven inversions. I don't know if I'm going to fit this thing, but I might give it a try. couple inches. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not going to fit in this ride. Okay. That sucks. It's just the buckle part. I got my, my fat butt in the seat, but I don't know, not quite enough to get to that buckle. Now down from Delirium, we have Banshee, which you'll see here. Banshee also has this tet seat out front, and it's a little less forgiving than Delirium. Again, my brother was able to go on this ride at just under 300 pounds, I say, I think around 285, and he said it was a little tight for him, but he didn't feel like he had any issues. He also said that once you get into the ride car or the, the train and you're loading into the train, seats four and five said they accommodated larger size guests. And when you see what I'm trying at the test seat here, um, I grabbed what I think is the normal buckle and I didn't realize this at the time but watching the video back you can see there's a an orange buckle kind of dangling between my legs um, underneath and I think it's probably for the larger size I doubt I'd have been able to snap that with the larger size buckle but I bet it wouldn't have been as difficult as it looked in this video so I'm gonna say um, to be safe probably about the 300 pound cap on this one because, like I said, it's a little less forgiving than Delirium, and I'm going to say 325 on that, so 300 on Banshee. Now, to go along with Banshee, we have Invertigo. I have personally ridden Invertigo about 10 years ago. Again, it was when I was about the 300-pound mark, and I don't remember having any issues with it at that time. 
So I'm going to say between 300 and 325 cap Merc for that one. That's um, a very similar rod restraints to Banshee. It doesn't have the, the nylon stretchy. It's more of a, a harder um, cushiony overhead, overhead restraint. Um, but I don't remember it being as forgiving as Delirium, but I don't think it's as restrictive as Banshee. So if you're between the 300 and 325, Probably you can give this a go and fit. Yeah, it's going to depend on where you hold your weight. For Invertigo, it is a Vacoma coaster. It was opened in Kings Island in 1999 under the, its original name of Face Off, which was themed to the 1997 Paramount movie of the same name, back when Paramount owned the park. It changed names in 2008 when Cedar Fair bought the park and was removing all the Paramount themes. It has a maximum height of 131.3 feet, a length of 1,013.8 feet, has a maximum speed of 50 miles an hour, has a ride duration of 1 minute and 30 seconds, and it has six inversions because it goes, well, I guess forward and backward just depends on where you are in the car. It backs up, drops you, goes around the loop one time goes up to the uh, second lift hill, drops you again. So if you're facing forward one way, you're going backward the, the next and vice versa. And there are three inversions per per circuit. And again, there's two circuits per, per a minute 30 second ride. I am now over here at the drop tower. You can see it goes all the way up there. Another one of these, uh, same kind of harness as the uh, Delirium and I believe Banshee is a similar harness, and I don't fit. There's not a test receipt, but I'll give you some ride footage and you can decide for yourself. Now, Drop Tower, or Drop Tower Scream Zone, if you're going by its full name, it's an Intamin ride, just like the Congo Falls in the same area. It originally opened in 1999. Now, the one here, there are several versions of this at parks throughout the country, but the Kings Island version is the tallest at 315 feet. Um, the drop height is 264 though, which is only the second tallest after the King's Dominion. It has a speed of 67 miles an hour, and if you did, has noticed, it kind of it it's called a gyro drop, which means it rotates you as it takes you up. It doesn't rotate on the way down; just drops you straight down. But it does rotate on the way up, which is why the model name is a gyro drop. Now the last one I'm going to cover is Drop Tower. I also have ridden Drop Tower. Again, it's been many, many years ago. I think the last time I rode Drop Tower, I was probably a senior in high school, so 17 years old. I didn't have any problems then, but I was under 200 pounds then. So that does no one any good. <laughs> My brother, again tried to go on this ride and he was unable to fit. They actually had to stop the ride and release the restraints and, and let him out after they loaded everyone in there because they couldn't quite get the buckle to go. He got the restraint down over his shoulder, but the buckle, he could not quite get it to snap into place. So he said he was close, but couldn't quite make it. So I'm going to say the cap on that's probably 275, but take that with a grain of salt because I have not ridden it in... 18 years and 285 pounds not quite there so um, I'd say 275 is going to be your max on that and from what I'm hearing this is probably the most restrictive ride in the, in the park is the drop tower so if you can get on this you can ride everything else but again 275 cut off on that so recap rundown here delirium Going to cap that at 325. In Vertigo, I'm going to say between 300 and 325, probably closer to the 300 mark. Banshee, I'm going to say cap at 300. And Drop Tower, again, the most restrictive ride in the park. I would have to say 275 is probably going to be your max weight on that, depending on your body style and how it fits on your body. Again, everyone's different. I carry most of my weight in my gut, but if you carry your weight somewhere else, maybe you'll have better luck.